Hi everyone, I got a nice easy drawing for you today that's gonna help you with two point perspective. We're gonna try a gift. You are gonna have your pencil and eraser and have a straight edge. So let's start with this, the corner of our gift. Okay, that's gonna be a straight parallel line. Make sure that when you do your lines for the sides of the box that they are basically in two point perspective. We're gonna open this up a little bit and we're gonna to go to the sides of the box are each going to go to points, which are called vanishing points. Now I'm gonna open this up a little more than an L, so a little more than a 90 degree angle and we're gonna do the other side of the box and we're gonna keep it either parallel these lines or we are going to go to that vanishing point. Okay, now go ahead and do your corners of the box. Corners are always parallel to each other. So the line straight up and down. That one's parallel to that one. And this one is parallel to those two. Okay, so we're gonna go right like that, okay? Any extra lines, go ahead and take those right out. Now, the top of our box. We're gonna take this corner and we're gonna go with these two lines back to a vanishing point. Okay, again, if it is parallel, it is fine. But if you really wanna put some perspective on it, that's what you're gonna do is take it back to a vanishing point. It just cannot go wider. If I had my ruler out there, that would be wrong. Okay, now we are going to do this line, this line, and this line go together. Get your corner lined up right there, and we're gonna bring that out. Okay, now we got this nice little box to start our gift with. Find the center of your top. Okay, so the top center would probably be about right there because remember it's in perspective. If you wanna have a nice little lid on this box, you're gonna bring a line down right here and keep that you know, in perspective. It goes back with these two lines or just keep it basically parallel. And I'm gonna draw a little over those two lines like that. Okay, so actually this has to come over just slightly and so does this. Okay, that's so that my lid can fit on top of this portion of the box. Now, again, we're gonna go with these lines, okay? So we want these to go back into perspective. Okay, it goes a little bit outside of it. So that one's gonna go a little bit outside of it as well. And we are going to just make sure that these corners are parallel. And it really does just kind of make it look a little more like a, the lid of the box. It's not much of a difference. So, you know, if you don't do that, that's, that's fine. Okay, so I'm taking out, now I'm taking out that original line from the bottom of the box. So you have two boxes, basically. You've got the lid, which is a rectangular box, and the actual box that things go into, that, the gift goes right into. Okay, so we're going to continue on with the bow. Let's wrap this box up and let's have a bow coming down the side. So I'm going to follow this line here. Okay, something like that. And I want it to come down the side of the box. So it's going to come over the side of the box and down like this. And this line is going to basically be at the same angle as this line. It's actually, it should be parallel. Although what happens is because this is pushing out the bow a little bit, if you want it to angle in like I'm doing slightly, you can. So then we're gonna take the other portion of the bow. It's gonna be kind of a thick bow. This is actually the ribbon. I'm gonna bring it down, okay? So I'm gonna to have to erase some lines. That can kind of wrap right around like that. I'm gonna to have to erase these lines here. 
okay and you know if you have it wrapping a little more than the box that's kind of nice because it kind of looks a little more dimensional okay so you can kind of wrap that like that now we have another ribbon that is kind of coming down the side over here so let's do from that center let's go up slightly and then kind of come down and where we get to the corner of the box we're going to bring this just down and it's just going to fall let's just have that ribbon fall down like that okay and then we're going to have this come very close bring that out further and this is the thickness of the ribbon now okay and we're going to stop right there so now we're going to erase these guys in between here and then you have that ribbon just kind of cascading falling right down the side all right now we're going to do a little bit underneath so we're going to see the thickness of the ribbon underneath and we're just kind of doing something like that you can give it a little line so it looks like it's gathered a little bit underneath like that okay now we have another bow so we're going to bring up a bow and kind of wobble a little bit and bring it back around okay and tuck that under now we want to see the top portion of this so i'm going to start from here because this is kind of gathering in and I'm going to kind of come around and back around like that. So this is the under part of the bow. This is the what you're kind of seeing like the opposite side of the bow. This is the top of that ribbon and that's underneath. So we're going to start again with one bow kind of coming out like this. We're going to go from the center. We're going to bring it out. And this one, I'm just going to kind of come out and then I'm going to tuck like that. So it's almost like a candy cane right there. All right, now I'm going to finish another one up right here. So I'm going to make it so that it comes about right here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to get a nice little bend down there. Come back around like that. Okay, now we're going to see that opposite side of it. So we're going to start about right here. And we're going to kind of bend this and come back. Okay, so that should have that little bend. And we're going to erase this and this. And then you should be able to see like how that bow is curving right around. There we go. Okay. Now this guy is just kind of hanging out on his own. But I want to get another cascading ribbon kind of falling down and let's have it come down this way whoop i want that a little straighter there we go and let's have it go like this and have the end like that i don't want it so pointy right there okay let's take out this portion here okay and we are going to Start back from here. This is going to look like it's kind of falling over the side. So let's get that out. Okay. And let's have it kind of touch over there. And then we're going to see the underside of this. Okay. And back. Blowing like that. Okay. Now we got to finish up this little guy, which we're going from here and we're kind of just coming over like that. He looks a little thin. Let's get him a little bigger, a little wider. All right, and that's the underside of that bow. All right, and if you wanted another little a uh, portion of the the ribbon kind of coming off of this way from the box you could make another line there and then just like that and then actually have it kind of tuck around like that but there is your gift and that's about it okay thank you